welcome back everyone to another video and now in the past i have had my fair share of 64 bit kernels and uh, operating systems running on the raspberry pi 3 and as you know the 64 bit uh, os environment is not officially supported by the raspberry pi foundation uh, as of now because it reduces backwards compatibility of the operating system and the programs with the previous generation of raspberry pis but this might soon be changing because there is actually uh, some official support for the 64-bit architecture and specifically the raspberry pi 3 as you can see uh, it does have its own uh, dev config in the arm 64 uh, configs area and uh, it is the official raspberry pi github page uh, and it's on the linux kernel repository so it's available on anywhere from 4.9 above now 4.9 is the current working branch uh, it is the default branch and all the work seems to be uh, finding its way to here so we'll be using this branch today and of course this doesn't mean that we might see the raspberry pi 3 running 64 bit anytime soon but they, it's always good to see uh, support for it and that means that it is going to work much better than uh, some of the other kernels that we have tried here especially with something like mainline which still has very limited support for the hardware so to do this first we need an sd card that has already have a uh, raspbian loaded onto it now we can go ahead and create our own 64-bit operating system using rootfs from debian or something like that but f just for the sake of keeping this video simple and limited to the kernel itself uh, i'll be using the 32-bit uh, user land and that's not a big issue so for that matter i'm not going to go ahead and write a new sd card so if you if from my previous video you remember that i booted it up with a usb thumb drive uh, we are going to use the same drive here as now you can see it has automatically um, mounted itself uh, we don't want that to happen uh, so what we are going to do is open up a terminal create uh, two directories so mkdir uh, one with the name of root and the other called boot uh, and now we have two directories right here and uh, let's go into the disks uh, area and select the 31 drive uh, 31 gigabit drive so this is the sandisk ultra usb 3 uh, based pen drive that i'm using right now and what we'll do is uh, unmount this partition as well as this so we have sdd1 and sdd2 all right so mount sdd1 to boot and mount sdd2 to root and that way we have uh, it mounted nearby and we don't have to traverse much longer so what i am going to do is just confirm that it is properly mounted and so yes we seem to have everything here now in the uh, let's cd into the boot partition and here we have some dtb files and our kernel file that we don't need and our overlays so all of that is going to be replaced by the um by the new 64 bit kernel so the dtbs are also going to be in uh, 64 bit so uh r m r f i probably need to use sudo here and then star dot dtb all the dtbs are gone and then uh, overlays so if i probably didn't need to use the r option there but uh, that's done so all we have left is the kernel dot img uh, we'll keep it again we'll be renaming that kernel to kernel 8 dot img and the other files that are necessary to boot so let's go back to our working directory and clone the raspberry pi's repository uh, and get clone and if you want don't want to, to have a big history of this repository 
are downloaded as well and want to reduce the download size i'd recommend using the depth equal to one option uh, also if you if you want to have a faster download speed use the git protocol at times the git is actually uh, uh, blocked by firewalls uh, maybe in offices or schools but um, it actually uh, gives you much higher download speed all right so with that then let's cd into the repository and then all we have to do is issue some make commands so the first one being make arc is equal to arm 64 and cross compile equal to aa arc uh, linux gnu i think that is about right all right so the final command being make arc equal to arm 64 cross compile equal to aa arc uh, ARC64 Linux GNU and BCM RPI3 DEF config and press enter and it will start to make. Uh, again, this is not that heavy, so I'm not using J4, uh, but now we are compiling the actual kernel and just remove the uh, DEF config file and add a J4. Now, this will build your kernel, kernel modules and DT uh, device tree binaries from the device tree sources so that's about it press enter and it should start to compile the kernel uh, and let's wait on it shouldn't take too long and I'll be back once that is done Alright, so looks like we are done with the compilation. So sudo cp arc arm64 boot and image to a previous directory boot and as kernel 8.img Next, what we have to do is copy the device tree files. Uh, so sudo cp arc arm64 boot dts broadcom uh, pcm2710 rpi3.dt b2 uh, previous directory and boot next create a boot dot overlay folder in the boot directory so sudo mkdir and p slash boot and overlays and now to copy all the overlay files so uh, sudo cp arc um, 64 slash boot dts overlays slash uh, start dot dtbo to boot and overlays and that should be done sync it up and then copy the config.txt to boot the uh, required kernel so sudo nano and boot and config.txt and at the end we'll just enter kernel equal to kernel 8.img now we have to name it kernel 8.img and uh, this will tell the bootloader to boot everything in 64 bit mode including the kernel otherwise it will boot try to boot the kernel in 32 bit mode and fail so uh, control x y and 
sync the disks it will take a few seconds make sure your disks are completely synced and then sudo umount uh, slash dev slash std1 and std2 and now you can safely eject your USB drive and plug it in or your SD card and plug it in on the Raspberry Pi 3 and see it boot. Oh.